I remember we was looking to rent a house and we was looking to rent, I think this is, uh, it's one of these we was trying to rent. Got the bikers out here. Okay. your signs out there in the middle of quarantine but you know what don't stop the hustle real estate for breakfast it's early morning we are still out here trying to get it put the signs up this is crazy because look this uh split off got two, two spots you know that so it's it's kind of like what decision do you make but uh hopefully we make the right one it's a phone call So what we discovered was that uh, there's a pole out there, it's a little bit big for our zip ties, but I actually have zip ties here on this other sign that has two to it. I'm gonna bring this one just in case actually, because we might need this one to hook up to it as well. So hopefully this is coming off of one of the main freeway exits that we're gonna put the sign up at. So um, yeah, we'll be back. So look, we picked this location because I want y'all to notice something, right? We're going down the main road. And what I noticed was there was another We Buy Houses sign on this block. And so uh, that's another wholesaler, another investor. Somebody, oh, somebody's left. Somebody who uh, possibly I can reach out to as well to work with on the JV deal, which is a, a, a joint venture opportunity. So not only I have the opportunity to check his number down or her number and get that information, but also you see the difference between our signings. There's nothing wrong with the sign that they got. Their, their, their sign is bigger, it's, it's, it's out there on the pole, but however, my sign is, it looks a little bit more colorful. It grabs your attention a little bit more. There's a house on my sign and it looks a little bit more professional, not generic, but nothing wrong with that. Those signs work too. But I just wanted to show y'all the competition that we do have in the area and where I'm at in the location. So, there's wholesalers out here, so I know it's probably wholesalers in your area too. Right. So right now, 
I just want to uh, want you guys to check out just what I'm doing as far as putting the signs up with the zip ties. Got the zip ties already pre um, pre did on here. Y'all checked out my other video. Y'all seen that? So this is just simple ABC type stuff. Make sure your sign is facing the right way, it's not upside down like this. On these little stop signs like this, we right here by a park, so should be good. Um, good amount of people coming by this area. It's a nice, beautiful park right here. A lot of family stuff. Should get a lot of a lot of eyeballs on this sign. I don't know if this is a church right here or what. It's a nice big like old A lot of stopping signs right here. So uh you get you get the opportunities that you probably wouldn't get at other spots. I like this spot. It's actually my cameraman's idea to come out here. So shout out to my cameraman. Ra! So like out here right now, I'm putting out bandit signs, and it's kind of, it's cool because you accomplish two things. The first thing is you get to meet the people in the neighborhood. The second thing is you get to drive for dollars. So you just keep looking at you know other properties, seeing if anything looks out of order, displaced. Uh, they might you know need our help. And um, so, but the reason we picked this specific area are is is because this area actually has the most uh, pre foreclosures in the city. And so the goal is of course to get those people to call us. So we're gonna flood this area for the next um, week actually. So today's our start day for this area. And uh, for the rest of the week, we're gonna be out here just putting out signs all over the place. And um, hopefully we get the phone ringing baby. competition out here which is good I'm gonna end up probably calling that person as well seeing what they doing out here in this area if they got any uh, leads any cash cash flow if they got any lead flow but one thing I don't like I put my sign here just to uh, you know show the neighborhood hey we out here but also uh, I don't like putting them on poles like this because they could easily be spun around versus the square type of stop sign pose but hey I just at least wanted to put it out here whoever did that sign man they must got either a nice ladder or they Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> So, um, this is a really nice neighborhood. Get to get, I want you to get all this. <laughs> this is a really nice neighborhood. 
and the, the chances of this sign actually staying up are slim to none probably for like the rest of this day this neighborhood looked like it got an hoa it looked like it got a lot of community good people out here and it looked like this is somewhere where a bandit sign should not be at but you know what i'm gonna pull one up anyway like to do is of course put them on stop signs somewhere where people got to stop but also um kind of keep them eye level you know some of them have them real high and that's cool too but um even if they get taken down it's all right because the goal of this whole thing is consistency always putting them out always doing it every day every week once every two weeks or whatever but um you just want to get out there and be consistent and be persistent you know real estate for breakfast <laughs> 